Hey guys, Storm Beecher here, and we're here with who? Eric. And uh, what'd you do yesterday? I got second at um, Triple T's OTS. All right, what were you playing? Uh, Zodiac Invoked. Did how, did how did the deck run for you? Fucking hate the Invoked <laughs> engine. It's actually the worst engine to mix in with the Zoos. <clears throat> I wanted to play the Artifacts, because Artifact Scythe is just like way more stronger than Burial. And barrier and it's just so much better it's more responsive and it gives you like x the backup that the zodiacs need because they can make a board but not always push for game but then like you just scythe your opponent on their turn and then like you just lose because you just scythe and you can't do anything after that okay uh we'll just get right into the deck profile so obviously three rap here's best card in the deck uh two whip tails because obviously you need your zodiacs to have some attack and the Bashman effect's really good if you suicide into problem with monsters. <clears throat> but yeah, that's a, the only monsters you, I played. Um, played three Alistairs somewhere. Um, this card's okay. I mean, the problem is you have to waste your normal summon, and sometimes in the zoos you need it. So it kind of like conflicts as an engine. I really didn't like it. <clears throat> um, but it just searches for the spell and then like recycles itself from the spell, so you always got him in hand. But like, multiple is just completely dead. Uh, Terror Top and Target Tumbor combo. Best combo in the game, easy three, no matter what you do. And then you get buried and lose. Um, I also played the Kaijus in there. I only mained four of them. Uh, obviously two big ones, two little ones. I probably would have played another Comunculus instead of another Gamma Seal. Just because I'd rather not give Blue Eyes more play. Um, didn't really play against a Blue Eyes, so it didn't really come up. Um, main two Ghost Ogres, just because Ghost Ogres are really good against a lot of things. Mirror Match, you hit the Barrage, you hit um, any of the Exceeds, and you kind of stop the play. Metaphors, you hit Scales. Just problematic cards. Uh, best card in the game. Literally, if you open this and your opponent tries to go off, you literally kill them because they can't do anything after. Unless they want to play into a maxi, but that time they just give you so much advantage, they lose. Uh, three magical meltdowns. I mean, this card's okay. I don't like it. I don't like this engine at all. <laughs> um, three barrages. Just so free. Literally gives you an entire board just off one card. Um, three interrupted kaiju slumbers. I played a weird ratio where it was only four kaijus, three interrupted. Because <clears throat> if you open up multiple interrupted, you just get free board wipes and you don't want to, I don't know, I, I had a weird logic behind it. I can't really remember. Uh, triple terraforming search for the field spell. Uh, double invocation. This card's really good. This is like the only good card in that invoked engine. Um, you get a fusion summon out of your opponent's graveyard, so you can hit your opponent's rap peers in the mirror match, or um, Digusto Emerald, so they can Digusto their Digusto back to stop the engine there, make good cards off of it. Uh, Dumble Twin Twister, get rid of back row. Multiple back row removal is really good. Uh, one instant fusion, because Norton doesn't do much for you in the deck. He just kind of like gives you a free exceed, but odds are you already ran so far, you don't really need it. Uh, Regeki for board wipe. Triple dimensional barrier because best trap card in game. Uh, Zudia combo because it's a free degusto. And I also played Vanities, but like I forgot to grab one to show you guys. Uh, go on side deck. <coughs> I cited Triple Lancia. <coughs> um, Lancia is just so much better than Imperial Iron Wall because Lancia is responsive from hand, so there's no real way to stop it, and you can do it in the standby phase rather than Imperial that can just get Twin Twist or Cosmic Cycle on the way. Uh, two more Gamma Seals. Yeah, I, did, I didn't want to play this one. He's just there. I cited Triple Lullaby Obedience. I didn't get it resolved, but I feel like this card's really under estimated right now because this just wins mirror matches in a mirror match if you open up the terror top you just go where your terror top plays and you call like talk it board now you just made your opponent's terror tops dead and it's just so much value or you call rap here or anything mind controls amazing going second you just take your opponent's zodiac 
you just take your opponent's like trident and they're either forced to pop it or give you a free exceed so you don't even have to waste a normal summon and go off with the way you want to uh, i only cited one in my body as a shield because i could not find one otherwise i'd main like two this card's really good two chalice just in case uh artifact scythe gets hit on my turn or trident if i need to stop a pop for anything and then three anti spells. I really didn't cite this card, but I feel like I it would have been really good if I faced certain matchups. Like I feel like in against Inferno, it's still really good because if you stop their lamoing, owning up the spells, it's kind of really hard for them to even get any Infernoids in there to start milling or summoning. In the extra deck, I played one Bore Bore. I feel like he's not as great as the other ones. So he's not relevant enough to play more, he just takes up space. Uh, two Tiger Mortars. Tiger Mortar is my favorite one just because she's cute. But uh, yeah. Uh, I like two Brawl Bulls. Brawl Bulls searches for anything you really need at the time. Usually you go for the Whiptail play and just have an extra attachment for your Trident. And it's two Tridents just because Trident gives you a good pop. Uh, one got Samurai for LTK. What? Uh, yeah, one that Gusto Emerald card, over Psycho Pack, everything. Yeah. I'd rather That's play amazing. two over one, but all the deck had was one at the time. Um, played one MX and Bulker. I would have played Totem Bird along with that, but the person who gave me the deck decided to play Norton instead, which I think was a terrible decision. Totem Bird just guarantees like starting cards can't stop you. Like D barrier and stuff like that. Just a good bait out. Yeah, and then one Norden. Card's okay. Uh, for the Invoked Engine, I played one Mikaba. The card's good when it, when he was relevant, but there wasn't enough light and there wasn't enough times where I could make him to make him super amazing. I played the three K Vanilla. He's okay in the mirror match because you can just hit your opponent's rep here and then just slow him down. Because now instead of having three to combo off with, they only have two. Which slows down the deck a lot, actually. And he's just free. Um, played one. I don't know how to spell it, say his name right now. Um, he's he's good in the Inferno matchup. I didn't get to play any, and so I didn't make him. It's my favorite one, the Rajin. He's just it's just the fact that he's a Book of Moon that makes him better than the other ones because he's really interruptive on during the play turn. It's the whole deck. Right. So uh, after after the OTS yesterday, you would change uh, taking out the invokes. Oh yeah, I would completely take take out the invokes. I play the artifacts because I feel the artifact version is better by a long shot. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, congrats on the top. You got your invite. You're going to Nats. Thank you. All right. We'll see you guys later.